Okay, nice and simple. Hello. Uh, this is going to be the work proposal for NBC. Boom. Right there. Work proposal for NBC. NBC got them their own book. Green means go, NBC. Green means go. Alright, there you go. That's what that is, alright? So because all the other books have filled them up already with the work that I've done and written works. Okay. So, all right, work proposal for NBC. Let's get this going, NBC. I'm gonna do the uh, the goals, sample itinerary, the um, so things that I want to accomplish. Sample itinerary for the first uh, three to four days to a week that I want to get get done. That's what I'm gonna be going over in this video, and then I'm gonna review the previous video, which also has all the good information as well. So that's gonna be uh, the Angela images 11410. That was an update video for the letters to AOC and Taylor Swift videos so there's that's three videos there's the angela image images video letters to aoc video letters to taylor swift that's all up there there's also uh, links to my on uh the youtube videos as well um if they're not shadow banning them which i'm gonna get into in a little bit here i'm gonna cover everything eventually god willing i'm gonna go over everything here right if i have to get on somebody else's page to do it I mean, it's gonna it's gonna happen. We're gonna get this done. Okay. Anyway, so review on the main page. So I'm I'm just going through all my notes here. So uh, on my main page, under the silver screen comment on my main page, there's gonna be a timeline of uh, of highlights of my acting and artist and photography career from high school to Nashville when I was on the show Nashville and went to the city Nashville to do the show Nashville. All right. So there's gonna be a timeline under the silver screen comment. And then it's also going to be on the Angela Images video comment under the timestamp Groundlings. I went to the Groundlings in Los Angeles. Adam Driver turned around and went home. That comment, timestamp, there's a timeline uh, from high school all the way down from me, with the work that I did in Maryland and on the East Coast, driving to Philadelphia and Baltimore and New York uh, when I was going to Cecil College. And then when I was in Los Angeles, there's highlights. Um, Okay, so it's also under the curriculum uh, timestamp comment on the Angela Images video uh, and then the silver screen post on my main page. So on those three places, the two comments on the Angela Images and then the silver screen post on my main page. All right. And then basically, you know, those are the timelines, but everything's up on my IMDb page as well. It's just, and most things, I'm going to get to this, I actually made it, but most of the notes are already up there. Now it's just a matter of fact, the images and the info. Now it's just a matter of fact of actually connecting the dots. But the information's up there. Uh, okay. All right. So, uh, all right. There's, there's also another note. There are still movies and actors and artists that I have not yet listed that they've utilized my materials for their own success uh, and movie making um, pursuits and endeavors that I haven't even listed yet. I mean, there, there's some under the Spider-Man one, I listed all the male actors who have portrayed me from Jake Gyllenhaal to um, uh, Ryan Reynolds to um, uh, the other guy, Colin Farrell, which is an awesome one. Jordan Peterson, which I love. You know, he like exact match copied one of my images, uh, photographs I had in Atlanta, Georgia done. Um, but it's fantastic. I mean, Jordan Peterson, who won it? I mean, so, so some of this, it, it is an honor. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want to be, like, it's just like, I just also need to get paid. You know what I mean? Like, that's that's all this is. I'm like, that's a fantastic thing that people want to do that. I just need to get paid for my work, right? Like, if, as I said, I made a comment. I was like, if Natasha Leone is also, if these people were like, that's fine if they want to poke fun of me if I have an office at Rockefeller Center and I'm like making a lot of money and wildly successful if Natasha Lane wants to poke fun at me then that's fine but like not when she's stealing my materials and I'm trying to like you know get something going here anyway I'm going to cover that in a minute um, so anyway so it's just a matter of connecting the dots All the, I have 400 images soon to be 401 to match the Spider-Man number uh, that's on the background on one of the buildings where Tobey Maguire is walking through the city anyway uh, and there's 401 on one of the buildings and 247 is the timestamp of the day okay all right so uh note another note okay here so um the only acting that i've ever done is on a stage in front of a camera or in front of an acting teacher and acting students in an acting class now that's very important right i'm a sag actor i've only ever done acting on a stage in front of an audience and that music just turned on so i might have to redo this but 
that music was not on when I started it. And I don't necessarily know if I want this to be on the video, but we'll, we'll see how it goes. Um, I've only ever done acting on a stage in front of an audience, in front of a camera, or acting in front of an acting teacher and acting students in acting class, right? I don't want to get that confused because my short films I did at Beverly Hills Health Plaza were so realistic. I think people thought that I was like doing documentaries or whatever. It's like, I'm a trained actor and I just don't go around like pretending that I'm other characters when I could be working on a SAG set making hundreds of dollars for eight hours or up to 30 grand plus per day on a sad commercial so i'm not like going around pretending i'm people when i could get kid brain retarded and i could literally work on a sag set and like get get pay my entire year for one sad commercial right so i don't just go around pretending that i'm people for no reason yeah you know i mean it's like that's kid brain retarded i don't do that no, who does yeah you know i mean i'm a sag actor i mean i'm sure there's people who do it but i'm just like i don't I, I do my work on a stage in front of the camera or in an acting class and then i get paid for my work that's why i'm like i gotta get paid for my work i'm an actor I'm a SAG actor. I just don't, I'm not doing this stuff for free. You know what I mean? It's like, there's a union that will go after people. I got upgraded on commercials, three commercials in 2007. Hold on, there's one piece right there. 2007, I did a commercial as a SAG background, got paid a decent rate to do the commercial. I was, um, sort of got upgraded to be a principal actor. That means I was recognizable on the, on the camera and was doing things on the same level as the principal actor. So I called SAG afterwards and there was like, yeah, I think I got upgraded. And they're like, yeah, no, we're already on top of it. You're gonna get a check in the mail. So it's just like, yeah, you know I mean, it's like, that's why there's a union. Okay, all right, so here we go. I am the real deal. I am the real deal. I should get hired by an entity, one of those entities that I mentioned that makes sense. Or I eventually will take it to court, make a bunch of money, get my own equipment, make things just like I have previously throughout my 20 year uh, career. Those entities that I'm chasing down right now will probably end up copying my stuff. I'll have to repost it, chase them again, you know what I mean? Eventually the public will catch on. Eventually I'm gonna get it to other people that will be like, you gotta repost this on your page. You know what I mean? It's like, and then I'm gonna, then we're gonna have to take it to court. You know what I mean? So it's like, it makes sense. I've talked to somebody. They're like, yeah, it makes sense. I need to get paid for my materials because it's like if we, if I don't, then it's, I'm going to take it to court. You know what I mean? It's just like that's what we need to do. I should just get hired. That's the easiest thing. All right. I spoke to a woman. Um, her name's uh, Giota. Her name sounds like Yoda when she said it. She's Greek. And she says, why do you think that they're doing that? Why are you copying your stuff? And I said, well, I'm so talented and I've been doing this since I was in high school and I and I'll, I'll go through some of my characteristics and traits that I have that I've exhibited that I've applied to my career and my pursuits. But I said, I think it's because they don't want someone like a Pablo Picasso or William Shakespeare or somebody like it to exist in this time period. So they're taking what I'm doing, watering it down, giving it to other actors. I mean, you have to ask them why they're doing it. They could just hire me, right? Or the women create, or the women know, or utilize my materials know that the environment, for whatever reason, in this time period, someone like me, and I wrote an American citizen who was born and raised in America. I'm not allowed to be successful for some reason. Why? It's kid brain retarded. And if we actually see that, that's why I'm going to have to eventually post all the information so they will eventually have to hire me, or we're going to take it to court. You know what I mean? So, I was born and raised in America. I've taken more acting classes, have put in more work into my career than anyone that I know or have ever met or, or even heard of in the industry, right? So they are copying my stuff and making me, okay, so, so it's kind of like, all right, so then, so maybe they're, they're making me copy my stuff. They're copying my stuff and making me fight for it. Sort of like, you know, it's like that Kate Bush running up that hill music video, that nonsense that they're doing. It's really, it shouldn't be able to, they shouldn't be doing that. Anyway, okay. And then I wrote, I am a dynamic individual and I make dynamic art. It's provable. They're copying my art. It's really good. My photographs that I've taken, you know, that don't have anything to do with the short films that I made, right? And then the story that I wrote 10 years after I did the, the, the short films doesn't have anything to do with the short films. And each short film is different with a different character. And I had years prior at least one in Los Angeles and then years on the East Coast so I was doing all sorts of different types of characters 
and I was working on set in Los Angeles every single day on Brothers and Sisters alias. So I was doing other work. I was working at Disney Studios. You know what I mean? So it's like stretching my acting muscles. You know what I mean? It's like I was taking an acting class. I was different types of characters. I have photographs when I was doing character studies. One where I have a mustache, right? And kind of look like this hip uh, retro 1970s guy. There's another one who's working on Ugly Betty trendy fashionable suits completely different character you know kind of slightly like you know doing a different different characteristics one is super strong and masculine one has slightly more you know just like a little refined traits you know what i mean like somebody who uh yeah. texas as opposed to new york you know what i mean the different characteristics right i'm an actor i'm a trained actor so and then i did character studies taking photographs with those different types of wardrobe different types of styles and whatever so i could get paid to work on set I wasn't doing it for no reason. And then I would make postcards and I'd send them to every casting director in Los Angeles. Right? So I would get work. So I was constantly working. All right. So it's just like, so that's, I have character study photos. And I actually did, working on Ugly Betty, got featured on Ugly Betty. And then the one where I was doing the 1970s one, there's an independent film that I did and a music video where I was that character. So it's like, I have all, all different types of characters. You know what I mean? Like studying, like, it's like, Johnny Depp. How many how many characters has that guy played? We've never heard of Johnny Depp. Yeah, I mean it's like how many characters has that guy played? Other actors who have who are just like uh, Christian Bale. You know when he lost all that weight to play the uh, the machinist, or I think that's what it's called, right? He lost like 40, 50 pounds to play that to play that role. Yeah, I mean oh we've never heard of an actor doing something unusual for sure. It's like. Adam Driver turned around and went home. I stayed in L.A. and I'm like, what else can I do? Then it went from the physical, actually physical things to like, well, what can I do mentally, emotionally, spiritually in my craft for the stage and for a camera that I was going to showcase to people? And I had demo reels and photographs to prove this and work history. So it's like I wasn't just doing it and like floating around. I, I did it and then filmed it or did it and photographed it and then sent it out to people so I could get work and get paid, which I did, which I needed to do because I, the work that I did, they're making money off of. That's what this is about, right? So it's like, all right. So, okay, here we go. So I'm a dynamic individual and I make dynamic art and photographs and I see things in a, in a dynamic way. Matched with my education and training and willingness to take risks and my faith in God makes me a very dynamic, talented, capable individual. The Spider-Man movies are based off of my life experiences, right? And SNL is copying my work provable along with other entities and actors and artists right okay so here we go perfect i have to say this goals nbc let's get this going nbc all right so this is going to be the to-do list or to get list all right upon arriving in, in new york uh camera routine get situated tour the stages take notes meet people and then review all right so that's what it is so that's the overview for this one different particular part all right number one a camera start taking photographs right away hitting the ground running take photographs get a routine for three or four days to the first week that i'm in uh, new york get situated all right uh so getting my routine getting that going the first few days to week then there tour the stages and facilities nbc rockefeller center all right uh so that's my to-do list sample itinerary i sort of did one of these for successfully strong but it's just like this one's particularly for nbc so it's like wake up in the morning just because i'm doing this is the purpose of this is is to like to showcase my my being professional i am an artist i'm an actor i'm a photographer you know um i'm a professional i'm a pro like real pro you know what i mean it's like i say i'm gonna do something i do it you know what i mean it's like and i i like working with people so that's why i posted all those images of me and my actor friends from different time periods of my life because like i'm a i work well with the team they just want to keep stealing my materials. That's going to cease and desist. Anyway, here we go. So in the morning, I'm doing this to show, to, to show my work ethic. Some of this I crossed out, but it's like I'm I'm con I'm going through this this book right here. I'm going to sign this and give it to whoever it is that I'm giving this to when I get to New York. But God willing, maybe God has different plans. But this is just like here we go. Asking you shall receive. Eventually, somebody's going to be like, we should hire that guy. You know what I mean? It's like, and then I'm going to do what I need and want to do what God wants me to do I'm going to be successful and people are like we should have hired that guy you know what I mean it's like anyway so all right get coffee in the morning I want to hang out at a coffee shop I would pick one by the park I would take photographs here you go number one get coffee number two hang out at a coffee shop I would pick one by the park 
and I'll get to that in a minute. Number three, take photographs right away. Number four, write. I always write, like in the mornings, like when I go to new, new places and new cities, I write. You know, I get the ideas, the feel of the place. All right, five, hang out on the stages. I think that's very important. Just I'm using my imagination, seeing what I could bring, some the unique quality that, quality that I have to that experience. I would, I would tour the stages. I would always hang on the stages. Empty. You know what I mean? It's like I would go there and write and work and photograph. There's something there. I'm visualizing it. Number six, I would write more. Okay, by seven. By that time, it would be lunchtime. I would find somewhere at the time. I love New York. I would go. I would find a, a local spot that I would like, and I would. I'd probably go there every day. All right. Number eight. I would get to a view. So after I did the morning coffee by the park, photographs, write, hang out the stages, finding lunch somewhere, I would get to a view. So it's like getting to the stages, getting to the people, the coffee shops, getting to the park, and get somewhere I could scope the whole um, skyline out, take in the entirety of the city. That's what I would do. All right, I would take more photographs, nine uh, of the stages and facilities. 10, have a casual dinner with someone. Uh, 11, spend time at St. Patrick's Cathedral. There's something there. There's totally something there. I, 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 I'm sensing it. There's something at St. Patrick's Cathedral and I can, there's an, I, I almost know what it is between that and the stages. Um, all right, so, and then 12, review my work and tasks of the day. So that's what I would do every day for the first three to four days for the first week uh, to get a routine down. And then that would be my, um, that would be my routine getting going at least for the first week. Okay, end of the week review. I propose that I review my materials once a week, 20 minute meeting with someone, a creative person or whoever it is, a point person that I would be speaking with um, to review 20 minutes at the end of the week, coffee and donuts either Saturday morning or Sunday before church, you know what I mean? Um, and I would show that person or those group of people, very casual, this is what I'm working on, this is what I'm doing, these are the ideas that I have, uh, this is what I wanna get done, and it's gotta be before church, you know what I mean? 20 minutes, 30 minutes, um, because then I can be like, oh, it's, you know, it's, uh, I'd love to chat with you guys more, but as you can see, it's Sunday, it's the Lord's Day, and I gotta get to church, so we'll see you guys next week. All right, here we go. That's music. I don't know why they keep pumping it louder. Okay, so I would be also describing and telling those people that uh, it's writing, it's content, it's creating, it's producing work, it's making things, it's developing things, it's seeing what I want to be created or come into existence, sharing those ideas and work, and then moving forward and getting that idea and work done. All right. And I'll say again, the reason why I want to do the coffee by the park in the mornings, photographing, writing, and then photographing, writing on the stages, because, like I said before, I am a dynamic individual, and I make dynamic art and photographs, and I see things in a dynamic way. Match with my education and training in writing, and my willingness to take risks, and my faith in God makes me a very dynamic, talented, capable individual. And one of my essence statements that, I, uh, that Sam Christensen gave me at his image workshop that I attended is when you need a knight and a ninja. That is one of my seven essence statements that I received while attending Sam Christensen's image workshop uh, in Atlanta. I believe it was 2016. Um, and it's very fitting for I am a dynamic individual statement when you need a knight and a ninja, right? And there's photographs that I have that are very uh, comparable to that. So, um, there we go. All right, right. When you need a knight, and when you need a knight and a ninja, I am a dynamic individual, right? And the Spider-Man movies are based off my life experiences. Okay, SNL is copying my work, and Natasha Leon Russian Doll is based off my copyrighted materials, and Natasha's new show is being produced with NBC. So this just makes sense, you know. What I mean, the Christmas tree uh, sits at the bottom of Rockefeller Center. You know what I mean? So it's like this. Just, it makes sense. Natasha Leon, her show is being produced by NBC. The first one was based, based practically she, she took all my materials so it's basically like so i said it's like that's fine so it's like my materials are show worthy so here we go so it's like okay i mentioned all that russian doll was made of my copyrighted materials photographs short films photograph plot points that i had on the wall witnessed by colleague cassiano and so i said my materials are show worthy and snl worthy 
We've proven that with Russian Doll and the SNL skits that they've copied in short films. So it just makes sense, NBC. Let's get this going, NBC. And I said, email me, NBC, or, you know, send Natasha Leone my way. And, uh... I was going to say something dumb. Let's make New York what it's supposed to be. Right? That's what we're going to do. Let's make New York what it's supposed to be. Okay, so that is a, that is a, a, a sample itinerary, a, a work proposal. That's an overview of the previous video where all the information is a timeline of my acting artist photography career from high school to... Los Angeles and then when I worked on Nashville when I was living in Atlanta so that's it for right now so that that just gets me in the door you know what I mean and then we'll, we'll go from there so my materials are being utilized and it just needs to get to the point where it's just like I need to get paid for those materials it's like we're gonna I'm gonna uncover eventually it's like I'm not running for office yeah you know I mean it's like I'm I'm trying to get paid to be an actor artist photographer right it's like I'm not running for office it's like I'm trying to, you know, it's like look at the photographs of the actors that I was hanging with, my actor friends. You know what I mean? It's like I'm a likable guy. I'm a talented guy. People are utilizing my materials. They've been trying to say terrible things about me, right? All the way from back from 2006 when I made this SNL style short films. It's like that they've, they're, they're copying now and making money. So, you know what I mean? It's just like. And I've done work as an actor and an artist trying to set myself apart, trying to be creative and talented, which they tried to kill me over. You know what I mean? It's like, so no, it's like this right here, this proposal, Green Means Go, NBC, is like, you know, I'm a hard worker. I'm dedicated to my craft and my career. I'm a dynamic person. You know what I mean? When you need a knight and a ninja, NBC, it's like, I'm your guy, right? And let's make New York what it's supposed to be. I have great ideas. Um, you know, I saw somebody uh, send a note about uh, you know your city on top of on top of on the, on the mountaintop is a great uh, you know you know congrats on what you put together. You know, what I mean, it's like, and that was something that I created that some people resisted doing, but I talked them into it, making an impassioned speech about what I wanted that experience to be, and and everybody ended up going for it. So, anyway, uh, much love to you guys. It's coming in right at 23 minutes. And um, yeah, let's get some traction on this. All right, NBC, let's get this going. Peace.